Anyway, Spark fans, it's over here. Spatial awareness is everything these days. When you order food from a delivery service, you want to know where it is along the way. The same goes for tracking packages in the mail, finding friends' locations, or even physical or animal-related asset tracking. But what good is knowing something or someone's position if you can't communicate that location? Imagine all those scenarios with the additional advantage of using message transfer protocols. So perhaps using a cellular text message to notify you of where your food or package is. Or using connectivity to a cloud platform like AWS to scale asset tracking and locate individual device positions to inform about the greater movement of a herd of animals. Location takes on a whole different meaning when it's paired with the ability to communicate that position, especially in remote areas. That's why we're so excited to share the brand new SparkFun LTE GNSS breakout board built with Ublox's Sara R5 chipset. It delivers high performance satellite positioning with a wide variety of data connectivity, ranging from HTTP protocols to 5G cellular capabilities. So what do you say we take a closer look at this board and see how it can both map and chat? This breakout board comes equipped with the Ublox Sara R510MAS module, which provides secure cloud LTEM and NB-IoT data communication for multi-regional use. This also means that this module can be a 5G-ready wireless IoT device once mobile operators roll out 5G LTE. The UBX R5 chipset includes multi-region LTE M1 and NB2 half duplex, optimization for ultra-low power consumption, and a full security suite with foundation, design, and end-to-end -end security. It supports a plethora of data communication, including out-of-the-box connectivity to cloud platforms like AWS or Azure. These protocols include TCP or IP sockets and packet switch data, HTTP Git post put, FTP, which is the SARA built-in file system, ping, and SMS. The breakout board also has an integrated Ublox M8 GNSS receiver for accurate positioning information. The receiver outputs data in NMEA format that can be parsed through the Ublox SARA R5 Arduino library. This module has three USB-C connectors to enable communication with the two hardware UARTs or provide power. Plus, the USB-C connectors serve as a method to access the SARA's trace log through the diagnostic port. The UART data for both connectors is translated to USB data through a CH340C USB to serial IC. Ublox designed the SARA R510 M8S to be a power efficient with a variety of low power and sleep modes and pulls a max of 395 milliamps during transmission. This breakout has a nano SIM socket and it ships with a hologram SIM card. There are separate robust SMA connections for LTE and GNSS antennas. And there's a switchable 3.3 volt power for an active GNSS antenna. There are 3.3 volt breakout pins for SARA ON, the network indicator, UART1, the GNSS timing pulse, and an I2C bus. We've also routed nearly all functional pins from the Sarah R510 M8S to plated through hole PTH headers for users to directly interact with them. The behavior of some pins might change depending on whether the module is in single or dual UART mode. The LTE GNSS breakout has a host of solder jumpers to adjust the behavior of the board and components on it. For example, you can open up the default state of the MEJ jumper to measure the current draw of the board with a multimeter or you could open any of the LED jumpers to disable them, which would reduce the total current draw of the breakout. The breakout includes seven LEDs to indicate the status of the SARA R5, including the ON, NI, TP, 3V3, VIN, RX, and TX LEDs. The voltage and power indicator LEDs are fairly self-explanatory. The RX and TX LEDs are tied to the RX and TX lines on UART1 to show when those are transmitting data. The NI LED shows the cellular network status when the GPIO1 is configured to act as a network status indicator output. The NI LED alternates from full off, which is no service, to full on, which is data transmission, as well as various pulse lengths to show different network statuses. 
Finally, the TP LED can be configured as a visual indicator of the time pulse output signal to provide time information for the LTE system. When enabled, the LED will pulse once per second. One of our talented engineers here at SparkFun, Mark, soldered up some headers to the module to connect it to the SparkFun Artemis Redboard to run some of the examples from the U-Block Sara R5 Arduino library. Here we only tested out SMS capabilities, but there's half a dozen examples to get you started reading the Sara R5's identification information, using ping, or reading position and time data. Basically, this module allows you to communicate insanely precise GPS data in half a dozen ways, so it's perfect for nearly any application you might have. Next time you want to keep in touch with a deployed device and get notified of its movements, make sure to pick up the SparkFun LTE GNSS breakout board to get the job done right. Of course, happy tracking, happy chit-chatting, and happy hacking. and even physical or animal-related asset tracking. But what good is the script if I don't know what the next thing is? <laughs> that was good at the end, but then I, I ad-libbed it. I mad-libbed it. I'm sorry, I got in my head. That last sentence sounded weird. What did I say? You said your location. I said location twice. Yeah. This is the one. Let's go.